here you can see me using my core skills to hit full shots with clubs such as 7-irons, pitching wedges, all the way up to drivers. Here I'm trying to move the ball left to right, starting the ball left of the stick which you can see in front of me and fading it back onto the target line. I'm doing this by having the feeling of my club head staying outside my hands on the way back and holding off through the ball at impact. Next I'm hitting some draws whereby I'm trying to start the ball right of the alignment stick and trying to release the club head through impact so that I create the correct spin on the ball to move the ball right to left around the stick. These fields for fades and draws are the same throughout the clubs that I'm hitting, whether it be long irons, woods or drivers. Here I'm trying to improve my club face control by hitting the ball in between the two alignment sticks set up in front of me. This should help me hit the ball closer to the hole and improve my dispersion. In my chipping and pitching I'm using a variety of lofts from a pitching wedge 50 degree and 56 degree to enable me to land the ball in different spots and generate different flights with different shots and lofts used. Here I'm using the short and advanced skill of bunker play. When hitting some bunker shots you want to use more lofts such as a 56 or a 60 degree wedge. Then you open the face so that you increase the amount of bounce on the club. This helps a club glide through the sand through impact, elevating the ball out of the bunker and closer to the hole. In my putting, I'm hitting many different putts from 2 to 10 feet on a variety of different slopes such as uphill, downhill, left to right or right to left. Practicing these skills should help improve my holding out which is a key skill in golf as it helps maintain momentum and also convert close birdie chances.
I'm hitting drive off the tee, trying to hit a draw to enable me to access the left part of the fairway, giving me the best line into the green on this par 5. So a good drive on the par 5, I then left myself with 204 yards and I hit 4 iron, trying to hit a little fade off the left half of the green, leaving it in the middle of the green, as this enables me to access all hole locations. After hitting a good approach shot into 45 feet, and I left myself with 45 feet for eagle, and I hit a nice like put up to one foot short, giving myself an easy tap in birdie on the first hole. On my second hole, which was the fourth hole, I, I hit a soft seven iron from 144 yards. It was a punch shot in order to take some distance off this club as the full distance would be too much this hole location. However, I took the bigger club as I wanted to make sure I got it past the flag as being short on this hole is not a good option. I hit a good seven iron to 38 feet and left myself a tricky putt down the hill. However, I hit a nice lag putt to around one foot and tapped it in for my part. A short par four, I decided to hit a two iron off the tee to leave myself far enough back and on the fairway so that I could hit a fuller approach shot into the green and also remove any trouble that I may encounter off the tee as there are many bunkers in this fairway. I left myself with 91 yards to the pin so I hit a shoulder to shoulder punch 50 degree. However, I overhit this and it went 30 feet long left of the hole. I then hit an okay lag putt as it was turning up the hill left to right However, I left it three feet short, but then proceeded to, hit, to hole out nicely for my par. Fairway on hole six is extremely tight with lots of bunkers surrounding the fairway. Therefore, I hit three wood off the tee to leave myself short of the bunkers and give myself a good approach to the hard par four. For finding the fairway off the tee, I left myself 150 yards, which I hit a full 7 iron to 8 feet, which I was really pleased with. And I managed to hold this putt, which was a big bonus to make a birdie on the hardest hole in the course. Here I hit a good drive down the right hand side, as I knew I could fly the bunkers on the right, however I wanted to take the ditch on the left hand side out of play. I left myself with 182 yards to this par 5 green. So I decided to hit a high fade four iron right in order to take some distance off my shot. I hit it to 21 feet, which I was really pleased with. And here you can see me reading my putt and analyzing the green to, to see where the break will take place in my putt. Here, I hit a poor putt as I did not give it a chance to get to the hole. However, I left myself a relatively straightforward tap in for birdie. I hit a full eight iron from 151 yards with the wind helping off the right. I hit a nice shot here to around pin high just to the left of the pin. The eight iron finished 11 feet away from the hole. This putt had a lot of turn on and I hit a good putt and committed to my line. However, 
I gave it a little too much speed, which is why it ran three feet past the hole. However, I hit a confident putt and hold my three footer for par. On the 16th, I hit a four iron off the tee, even though it's a fairly long par four. However, there's a ditch that splits the two fairways and therefore I need to hit four iron short of the ditch and prioritise hitting the fairway. I left myself with 166 yards to the green, however the ball was slightly below my feet which meant it faded more, however this hole location was tucked back left and I did not want to miss the ball left of the hole so I hit a good shot about 40 feet just right of the hole and then I hit a nice lag putt to around two feet short making my path. Seventeen, I hit a full nine iron. However, I did not quite strike it, and therefore I left it short of the hole. I left myself a thirty-three foot putt. However, it was upper tier. I judged the speed relatively well here. However, left myself a three footer, which was more than I'd have liked. However, I hold a good putt to save my par. final hole, I hit a good drive up the left hand side in order to evade the bunkers up the right. I left myself with a 9 iron from 133 yards and the ball was slightly below my feet meaning that it faded a bit too much. However, I left myself a good look at birdie 25 feet down the hill. I hit a nice putt here and tapped in for my par. Here is some of the equipment I use when I'm playing golf. First, we have my rain cover, which helps me keep my clubs dry when it's raining. Then we have my hat, my snood and my mitts. I wear these when I'm playing golf to keep me warm, especially in the winter. Then I have a drinks bottle and some snacks to keep me energized and hydrated when I'm playing golf. My shoes have grip on them so that I do not lose my footing whilst playing. I've also got thick socks and also waterproofs to help keep me dry if it rains. <laughs>